is a season with Toastmaster and Techmaster. And we go into here today about advantages of leadership. Welcome, Robert Alpha. Okay, so I want to talk about the advantages of leadership, and this really should be a motivational speech. It's not a book speech, but my goal here is to motivate and inspire you to take on a leadership role, to be in action, and specifically what I'd like to do is inspire you to take on a leadership role in this organization. So coming up uh, end of May, uh, beginning of June, I believe, we have a new uh, officer slate, or the new officer <coughs> born in. So in preparation for that, we need elections. And before we can have elections, we need to have officers. So we have a number of people who have stepped up. We also have a number of roles that are missing. And I'd like to encourage each of you to think about stepping up for one of the open roles or assisting in other ways. Uh, as you can see, I will be stepping up and running for president. I'm not sure. We have the option for people to, for more than one candidate, in which case we'll have to have an election. Uh, barring that, uh, my goal as president is going to be to Try to get to the other side of the room as well here. My goal as president is going to be to try, or one of the goals is going to be to try to get the group to do some more of the things in the Toastmaster leadership books to go out, maybe you know, try to reach out to, to other people, raise our membership. And I think what that's going to take, well, right now, I'm the Vice President of Public Relations. I know I don't have time to be contacting newspapers, to be tweeting, to be posting on Facebook and everything. That's more than one person, unless it was my full-time job. I don't think the club's going to pay me my salary, so uh, that's not going to happen. One of the things that I want to do is I want to see the officers working with other people and delegating some, and that's going to create new opportunities for leadership. So one of the reasons I say, there are two reasons I say that, or I bring this up. One is leadership doesn't have to look like this, but the other is if you say that you want to be an officer and run, don't think that you have to do everything yourself. So right now we are working on a membership drive in the evening, it's going to be April 24th, and as Vice President of Public Relations, that's something that I really wanted to see happen. I'm not doing all the work. Paul here is probably doing most of it, in fact. So his schedule is a little more flexible than mine, and, and he's a great person to step up and help out. So there's nobody here who can't step into any of these positions. Beth, welcome to the club. <laughs> no, seriously, welcome to the club. I'm not going to say... Jump up and do it right now. Take some time, get to know the club a little bit better, get comfortable with your speeches. There's no reason you can't step into this whenever you're comfortable. Sergeant of Arms is a role, is the person who prepares the, the room, I believe takes, uh, takes our new members out temporarily, and otherwise, otherwise preps the meeting and looks after the room. Secretary is a very important role. We need somebody to take minutes. All of the awards that we give out, all of the meeting notes, it's probably more than one person can do. I'd like to see a couple people volunteer to share that role and perhaps have the secretary in charge of coordinating that. So these are all ways that you can step up and be a leader, participate, uh, and contribute to the club, and it doesn't have to be a significant burden. I know when I stepped up for vice president, I'm thinking, are these guys going to want me? Am I going to get in over my head? 
I'm going to really embarrass myself? They said, well, you know, I think I might consider doing something if you want me. We want you. Seriously. Uh, there's, there's nobody here who can't, who doesn't have something to contribute, and there is no failure here. Or at least, Paul, if you're not failing, you're not trying. Step up. If you try, you're too busy, well, that's great. We'll figure out how to help out. In, in this sense, failure will be success. Please step into it. As, as you can see here, we're specifically looking for three positions to be filled. Vice President of Education, Secretary, Sergeant of Arms. Vice President of Education probably takes more time than anything. Uh, Alex can tell you a lot more about that role. The <coughs> other thing that, that we do need to do here, uh, Vince has been our treasurer for pretty much the, uh, the, the, the entire duration of the organization. We would like to have somebody who's going to step up and work with Vince to be the treasurer, help uh, learn everything that he's done, and, and uh, perhaps be the next treasurer. So those are the opportunities. Please talk to me. Please talk to Jane, who is our current president. And seriously, I, I, from my perspective, I really want to say being an officer in the group has had me doing more, and I feel a lot more effective. I feel that I've generated a lot more of who I am. By contributing to the club, you will contribute to yourself and it is hugely worthwhile. With that, thank you very much.